Greetings to you who are loved by God and called to be saints. Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Mapus. I serve here at Concordia Lutheran Church and Preschool, and I serve as vicar here. We are located at 3636 South Detroit Ave here in Toledo, Ohio. Today we begin a series of devotions looking at questions that come up from the biblical text. And today we're going to look at Psalm 6, verse 3, and it reads, My soul also was greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Now we don't know the exact context in which David wrote Psalm 6. But if you read through the entire psalm, we can tell David is suffering from extreme mental anguish over his failures. Even to the point where he's feeling he's becoming ill over this. But what failures in David's life could cause such despair? Was it his failures at being a king? Was it his failures with dealing with the workers of evil as stated in verse 8? But why doesn't David just use his power and authority as, as king and, and make a simple decree and make all this go away? Well, that's because David, with all his power and might, couldn't do what needed to be done. Martin Luther had a term from, from the German that, that captures the type of despair that David was dealing with. It's the German word infectum, which was, which, which was a despair David was experiencing from dealing with the consequences of him failing to keep the demands of God's law, which prompted David to ask this the simple question, Lord, how long? We too with David have found ourselves asking the Lord, how long? But the fault is not with the Lord, with him being slow to act in our behalf or David's behalf, but with us waiting too long to turn to the Lord in our despair. How many of us have tried to fix our own failures in living the victorious Christian life? How many of us have woke up in the morning telling God, Today is the day, Lord, I'm going to turn my life around. Well, for all of you who have tried this approach, you have to admit just how foolish this really is. How foolish it is to continue to hang on to our failures and and keeping God's demands from his most holy, precious law. Instead of just laying those failures at, at our Lord's feet. But fortunately for us, the Lord doesn't ask us how long. But, that's, but it's already been done. And that's why he doesn't ask that question of us. See, done with, with our failures already nailed at our Lord's precious feet. Let us pray. O oh Lord, hear our plea and accept our prayer through the merits of Jesus who prays for us. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you today and for the rest of your week. Amen.